Hello, denizens of the internet. I admit it. I've done clickbaity thumbnails, but never the kind that was, uh, you know, an outright lie like Caitlin Clark is really black, although I'm sure that would get a lot of hits. But if I exaggerate, it's your fault. We used to have this nice division between what we thought was news and what we knew was tabloid nonsense. The, ta uh, the Globe tabloid was famous for baby aliens. We, we knew that was entertainment. At some point, news organizations decided that they needed uh, to be entertaining also. You people out there prefer news presented as opinion or news that is entertaining like watching O.J. Simpson's Bronco being chased by cops or a belligerent woman caught on body cam getting tasered for driving intoxicated and without a license. That takes five cops to, to arrest. That was funny. Uh, legit news always had a selection bias and that has only gotten worse. And if the news is real, the perspective is twisted to fit a political bias. Everyone is competing for your eyeballs and none more vociferously than we folk here on the Tubester. But I I'm sorry to say it's your fault. You were attracted to two things, basically, the subject and the story angle. Uh, you're also a sucker for confirmation bias. Did you know that car purchasers read more reviews of the car they just bought than prior to the purchase? Yeah, they want confirmation that they bought the right car. Research, it seems, is hard. One of the downsides to this competition for your attention is that most of the stories have a negative bent. And if if you already have a hate on for something like a, a Star Wars or a politician, then sucking on the fire hose of available dirt on YouTube is a great time waster. But the long-term mental health benefits concern me. There is a name for this. It's called doom scrolling. And I, I, I'm as much of a sucker for this as anyone else. Just look at some of these YouTube thumbnails. It's all scary stuff. Campus graduation ceremonies have gone out of control. The aforementioned Caitlin Clark, the white straight savior of the predominantly black lesbian WNBA gets more pixels than a certain all earlobes matter president. Declining EV sales, worse, EV deaths, more than in Gaza. Where are the campus protests? Disney in the shitter never gets old. I'm hitting my driver wrong? Damn, this is this is getting scary. Jordan Peterson is always mad about something. Or someone's mad about Jordan Peterson. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Paris Olympics have become an endless source of clickbait content. Even my favorite YT theoretical physicist is not immune to hyperbole. Woke. White women who want people of color as pets is always a popular theme. Uh, that That is just so mean, but I'm going to watch it. I'm hitting my bunker shots wrong. The cruelty is getting unbearable. So that's just a sampling, and it's not even the worst stuff out there. You all know that. There was a time when entertainment, especially on broadcast TV, was just entertainment. No one was being mean to each other. YouTube has usurped broadcast TV in popularity. Few people I know watch network TV. One lesson is that it takes a ton of talent in front of and behind the camera to make a successful show like Cheers. Most of us here have barely the talent experience or budget of those TV veterans, but we seem to be winning the eyeball wars, mainly because network TV has not invested in scripted entertainment programming, especially uh, sitcoms, the one-time format king of TV for at least 15 years. That is not our fault. So you're stuck with us halfwits repeating the same shit over and over, but you don't mind. The main attraction on uh, of TV was bringing a friend into your living room for a few minutes. That's what YouTube has taken over, and in many ways has done better than TV, mostly because 
you know we're not high-paid actors pretending to be someone we're not, and, and you get to ask questions or, or make comments. And, and that has not stopped you from getting off the hate train, however. And it's this relentless negativity that all social media trades in that concerns me. Twitter X being the worst offender, especially now that you can monetize your account, which encourages people to drop the most hateful clickbait comments and then just run away. It, it, it should, be a, should be mandatory that if you don't participate in your own feeds, you don't get any compensation. Are you listening, Elon? And Twitter X can be pure evil as compared to the effort we expend to create some very entertaining evil on YouTube. At least we have to do more than just type in 280 characters and call it a day. This brilliant video took me minutes to do. Not that there isn't popular, positive, entertainment-oriented content here. It's just that the competition, as I said, is fierce, and so naturally a lot of focus is put on the title and the thumbnail. Thankfully, the biggest YouTuber, Mr. B, with his 300 million subscribers, is doing nothing but wholesome videos and can't see him getting into trouble anytime soon. Till next time, denizens, be seeing you.